Hello guys, welcome to Cinema Plus. Today, I'm going to explain a movie, In the Mood for Love, from 2000. Spoilers ahead. In the Mood for Love is a movie set in Hong Kong in the 1962. Chong Mo Wing is a newspaper editor who moves into a new building with his wife. At the same time, Su Li Zun is a beautiful secretary and her executive husband also moved in the crowded building. With their spawns often away, Chong and Li Zun spend most of their time together as friends. They have everything in common, from noodle shops to martial art. Soon, they are shocked to discover that their spawns are having an affair. Hurt and hungry, they find comfort in their growing friendship, even as they resolve not to be like their unfaithful mates. With Mrs. Chong and Mr. Chan, often out of town, either on business or personal matters, Mr. Chan and Mrs. Chan led to somewhat emotional loneliness existence. The cordiality and emotional isolation extend to Mr. Chan and Mrs. Chan. Working lives. Mr. Chan, a newspaper journalist who would rather be writing martial arts series, has as his closest work colleague, Ping, a gambler who often takes advantage of that friendship. And Mrs. Chan's job as a secretary to married Mr. Hong likely entails her handling his personal affair, including managing and facilitating his affair with Miss Young, something she cannot talk about to anyone. Eventually, Mr. Chong and Mrs. Chan individually come to the realization that their irrespective spawns are having an affair with each other, mostly taking place when they are out of town together. In dealing with this joint betrayal of their respective marriage, Mr. Chong and Mrs. Chan began spending time together. Despite they not doing anything with each other, they do not tell anyone of their time together. In the inappropriateness of two married people of the opposite sex being alone with each other, as they try to figure out what to do about their respective marriage, the situation becomes more complicated when they admit that they are falling in love with each other, something that neither intend when they began their friendship. In response, Chong and Su strike up a platonic relationship, playful how their spawns met and got together, and rehearsing how they will comfort them about their infidelity. Along the way, the two eventually develop feelings for each other and fall in love, but their respective principles and societal norms ultimately keep them apart, leaving them to pass each other by over many years. After Chong moves to Singapore, after realizing that he and Su can't be together, the two pass each other by over a period of years, soon travel to Singapore to see Chong, going so far as to wait in his apartment but eventually depart before seeing him, leaving behind only a listed stained cigarette as a memento of her presence. Chong goes back to their apartment, complex to visit his landlords, only to learn that they have left and a young woman and son have moved in the next door. But Chong leaves before learning that it's actually Sue and his son. 